Welcome to the Honda, Acura, Toyota, and Subaru Idler Pulley Bearing Replacement Guide. This will walk you through the two types of idler pulleys that are used on a 1996 to 2000 Honda Civic. This same style of idler pulley is used on many other Honda, Acura, Toyota, and Subaru vehicles. There are two styles of pulleys we will show in this guide. The first type is a pulley that has one open end and one closed end. The second type of pulley has an open end on both sides. The bearing we used is a 6203 with two rubber seals. There are many sealing and non-sealing versions of this bearing. The two rubber seal version is designated as 2RS, so the bearing we used is 62032RS. Look at the existing bearing to find you have the same or different size bearing. Order the model of new bearing that corresponds with your existing bearing size. First, place a metal object we can press against onto the bearing. Make sure it is slightly smaller than the diameter of the pulley housing. We used a hex socket. Make sure that the pulley is supported, but that the supports allow the bearing to pass through when pressed out of the pulley. To press the new bearing into the pulley housing, first place it in the pulley housing, then align it to the hole. Place a socket that is slightly smaller than the pulley housing bore, but it should also only contact the outer race of the bearing. To make installation easier, the bearing's outer race and the bore of the pulley can be coated with grease. Stop when you feel resistance, as the bearing will be fully seated. Before pressing out the bearing for the open pulley bore style, measure the distance of the protruding bearing from the pulley housing with a depth gauge. Use this as a reference point for how deep you need to press the bearing. Ours came out to be about 1.9 mm. To press out the bearing, use a socket or a press plate that is slightly smaller than the bore of the pulley housing. Make sure the pulley is supported, but that the bearing has a hole to fall through. To press the new bearing into the pulley housing, use the same press plate or socket that is smaller than the bore, but only contacts the bearing's outer race. The bearing is usually pressed far enough in, when the bearing is flush with the bottom part of the angled slope of this side of the pulley. You can use the depth gauge to measure if its distance is correctly seated. This measurement is under three thousandths of an inch from our starting measurement, so it should be good. 